Hello, it's HT Wingnut again. Um, I thought I would show you uh, how to repaste your CPU and GPU. And in this specific example, I'm using a Sager NP9 uh, 7 NP7330, which is the Clevo W230ST. It's the older model, but uh, the same principle applies to this and the Clevo W230ST, the newer model, and pretty much across the board for pretty much any other laptop. But um, some are easier to access than others, but this one is pretty straightforward, and it's a good example of uh, what to do. Um, the thermal performance uh, can be improved greatly by changing the thermal paste, regardless of whether or not you get quality paste from the factory or not. I found that changing any factory paste myself over the years has improved in a significant improvement in thermal uh, performance, as much as a 5 to 10 degrees Celsius drop at load. Uh, so it's, I think it's a worthwhile endeavor. Um, some laptops void the warranty if you open up your machine to do it. Um, I know Sager does not, so uh, that's a benefit to this uh, specific machine and types of machines. In any case, that's pretty straightforward. Get this lined up here. Okay, um, obviously every laptop's different. This one's pretty straightforward. You have one, two, three screws, which I already removed. Um, and before we get started, first and foremost is always remove the battery. You don't want to be messing with the inside of your laptop with the battery or any kind of power source attached, AC cable or otherwise. Um, the things that you're going to want in order to change the thermal paste is something like uh, isopropyl alcohol. This one is the electronics stuff that I got from Amazon, but you can get it at uh, electronic stores like Micro Center or wherever. Or if you have to buy high percentage alcohol from the drugstore, 90% or better, preferably. That way it uh, has less uh, water uh, in it than uh, typical. This one says 99.9% anhydrous, pure anhydrous uh, alcohol. So um, then you're gonna need a, you know, a jeweler's uh, Phillips screwdriver, nothing special. Um, I've had this one for years. It's got a kit for probably a couple bucks years back and it's worked great. Um, then your thermal paste. Uh, my choice is typically IC Diamond. Um, it's not the easiest to work with because it comes out rather thick, but well, before you even start uh, disassembling your laptop, it can't hurt to throw this in a baggie, or double bag it even, and uh, fill up your sink with some hot water and let it sit in there while you're disassembling your machine, so that way it'll loosen up the paste a little bit, make it a little less viscous and easier to manage. Okay, we'll go ahead and get started. As I noted, I already took out these screws. Um, oh, the other thing is obviously paper towel, some soft paper towel that uh, you can use to clean this stuff off with. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and pop this off. Voila. Um, removing the screws, they've got a number sequence here. It's a good idea to follow it. For removing it, it's not as critical as it is for returning it, but I do it anyways. Um, the screws on the CPU here are captured. So basically, you don't have to worry about them popping out and losing them. They're stuck as part of this plate here. Go ahead and remove those screws. Um, above the GPU here, uh, these screws are removable. So be careful. I usually magnetize my uh, screwdriver. Um, just set it in a, a magnetic tray overnight. And it works wonders to uh, hold on to your screws so you don't lose them a lot of times. Just a suggestion. It, uh, now that's all there is to it. All you have to do here is, ta-da! Um, pretty straightforward. Let's see if we can zoom in here a little bit. I'm just going to take some uh, alcohol and some paper towel here. Another thing that you might want to consider is getting some toothpicks because sometimes you have to clean off the uh, goop that falls along the edge of the CPU and GPU. But it's not necessary. I would always uh, use a clean section of the paper towel to wipe this off, obviously with alcohol on it.
piece of cake. One thing I might want, I'd like to mention, um, selection of thermal paste. You know, it's up to you, whatever you use. I use Icy Diamond. What, uh, one thing to consider is if it has, uh, it's capacitive or if it's conductive, um, both of those can be bad news if you accidentally goop even a little bit on your motherboard here. Um, and it uh, shorts out your motherboard and it can basically completely fry your machine if you're not careful. Uh, I use Icy Diamond, which isn't uh, capacitive or conductive. And it's, uh, it's just a little bit harder to work with just because it's so thick. But uh, it also contains diamond in it, which can scratch the surface of your CPU and GPU if you use it a lot. See some of that marring on the surface here. Um, I mean, it really doesn't affect it that much. It really shouldn't. It's just an appearance thing, more or less. But if you're going to do a lot of uh, troubleshooting and replacing paste a lot, I would recommend using something that's not icy diamond, something that's a little, even some of the cheap paste, just to, uh, if you're going to be removing it and putting it on a lot, so you don't scratch the surface here. Um, addition, uh, I just dipped some uh, toothpick and some alcohol. Go ahead and clean out around the edges. Don't have to do that, but it's a good idea to get as clean as you can. Can't hurt. Don't need to use much pressure at all. And then don't forget to where is it? Clean your uh, heat sinks off too. All the uh, alcohol has dried, obviously, before you go to reapply your new paste. Um, just so you know, this is the uh, uh, heat spreader for the video RAM probably something like this on the other side. There should be video RAM on this side and the other side just specifically for the uh, GPU there. Get one last good little... Alright. Give that a second to dry out. And the other thing about the high percentage alcohol is it uh, evaporates pretty quickly so can't hurt to just blow on it a little bit. <sighs> Normally I would just let it sit, but for the sake of brevity, video. Okay, now let's back this up a little bit. We can go ahead and uh, apply our thermal paste. Um, this is, I guess, people have their own methods. Um, you know, obviously the manufacturer of the paste have their recommendations and uh, I, I typically just do a, a line, a thin bead across the center line there and here and let the uh, screws of the uh, heat sink do the work to Looks like there's a little piece of dust there. I'll make sure it's free of dust and everything else. It's a new tube of icy diamond here too, so my other one just ran out. It's kind of, I don't want it too big. It's a little bit uneven there, but it should be okay. Um, probably a little thick on the ends anyways. It'll just spread out to the edges. And same thing. It's probably a little more than you really need, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, use that. Uh, it'll just uh, ooze out over the edges. Uh, the pressure should set the uh, thickness about where it needs it. Um, so then basically make sure you line up your heat sink now and make sure it's pretty well lined up because you don't want to be taking it off and touch it down to the paste on and off. It'll just create air bubbles between this surface and the, uh, the CPU and GPU. So. A little bit of 
thickness and up a bit and up. I wouldn't put too much pressure on here with your hand because you don't want to push down the net screw it and release and then you're going to end up creating maybe some air pockets, tiny air pockets in there which you don't want. And now for these, uh, the GPU. Just tighten it till it's snug. And there we go. That's all there is to it. So now what we're going to do is throw the battery back in, throw the bottom panel back on, we're going to prop it up because I don't want it sitting on this uh, cloth and trying to get air in. I use these standoffs, they're called cool balls. Um, they just help prop up the back of your laptop to help get some cool air back there. And it helps with the typing angle too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back this up. I'm going to plug it in. There we go. Open it up. Turn it on. See if the fan goes crazy or anything. See if we're okay. Sorry about that. I, uh, my battery died on my camera so let's uh, try this again I just boot it up um, after repasting and let's give 3d mark 11 a whirl and see what our temperatures result in Is expected score and temperatures are 78 for CPU and 61 for GPU so I think our repaste is a success so there you have it uh, hope that was helpful and uh, thank you for listening until next time see you later